How's it going, everyone? G Smith 64. This is a little bit of a different mod of the day for you today, but it is still mod of the day. Today's mod of the day is the Nora Companion mod, work in progress. It is a work in progress, so there will be bugs, there will be glitches, and all that. But this is essentially a what if scenario. What if your spouse Nora lived being shot uh, by Kellogg? What if she lived that? instead of dying like she does at the beginning of the game. Now, please note, this only works with a male survi uh, soul survivor. So, uh, females, sorry. And gets kind of buggy, at least for the time being. But, once exiting the vault, you will be hit with a quest. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to mention. This is by House Variable, or on Xbox. It is also still by House Variable, but they've changed their name to it's something Japanese I'm trying to pull it up real quick if the fucking page would load it had I had it loaded up beforehand but apparently it wants to reload because you know that's what Google likes to do and on Xbox it is fucking come on by Chosen Young okay but anyways you'll get a quest once exiting the vault called Spouse, where art thou? Well, along with a pointer to where you need to go. So you need to go to Abernathy Farm. Abernathy? Abernathy? I don't know how to say that fucking word. Okay. Abernathy Farm. Abernathy really Farm. And you will find Nora there. And uh, she has some unloaded textures. It's part of the work in progress. Along with maybe some conflicting oh. mods there. But you will find Nora. She's alive. And you will have a long talk with her. You'll, ha you'll have long talk. You will have a long talk with her about how she survived. What are you two going to do now? And I'll let that play out here. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Everyone's dead. All that matters is that you survived. We've survived this far. We'll make it to the end. You're right. I'm sorry. At least you and I made it through this. What do you think we should do? I don't know what to do. Ugh. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. I just want my son back. It's hopeless. I've lost him. Sean's gone. It's all right. We'll work on this together. Hun, you need to know. I still love you. Of course, I still love you. Uh -huh. I still love my husband, and that isn't going to change. Don't worry. I'll get him back. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that with me. Family's important. Don't worry. I haven't lost faith in you. You can travel with me, see the world. Or what's left of it. Do you really mean that? Thank you. That's kind of you. Let's stick together. I was in cryogenic storage for a long... How did you manage to escape? I was about to ask you. I... So? I found, found a couple of them, actually. I only thought it was the bastard who shot me. Took my baby. Either way. Sure. Hey, hun. Thank you. We're in this world. Let's get out. Hey, hon. You're heading out? And then once you're done talking with Nora, as you heard in there, it's a lovely thing. Let's see what you got. Uh, you can have her as a follower. Now, the interesting thing about Nora is she is like a fully fleshed out follower. She will have interactions with other NPCs during major plot events. Uh, it's currently working on making it fit more than just certain plot events. You're heading out? Uh, along with her going to the Institute with you and a whole bunch of other things. Right. But she is a fully fleshed out follower. She has her own perk as well. And she even has an affinity system. So you have to reach max affinity with her again. As you can see here with Preston, she is joining in on the conversation. And the mod author is currently working to make it so she joins in on all conversations. And she has her own thoughts on things as well and all of that. 
So, just folks looking for a new it's a pretty fully fleshed out mod, and it still has a lot of work to go, at least from what the mod author is saying. But, it's a really cool mod, so if you want to download it for yourself, links will be in the descriptions below. Uh, please note, though, that the mod does break subtitles right now. It breaks it quite a bit. I don't know why it does it, but it does break subtitles. But, anyways, I've been your host, GSmith64, and I'm just going to finish letting this play out. But other than that, yeah, enjoy what you hear here, and I will see you all no in the problem. next episode. I'd be glad to help. Farewell, and I'm if you want to download the mods for yourself, once again, they will be in the description below. Sorry. It sounds rough. Thanks. Nah, that ain't it's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. <laughs> Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rats, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. Are you really going to pass up probably the best opportunity you'll have to kick some ass? Well, it's not a no. Look, 